The Land Transport Authority says it will study feedback from residents over changes made to roads in Tiong Bahru. Works to make the estate more pedestrian-friendly have been completed after one and a half years. While some residents say the changes have made the area safer, others have mixed reactions. Cars used to run along this street. Ever since it was turned into a footpath, it's now become safer for residents. I work here for go back home night time. Uh, after work, after work, so I work here very easy la, if I no take bus. But another resident says the footpath has its drawbacks. These benches placed by authorities mean that people linger late into the night. There are people who sit here and drink and talk very loud and also some of them smoke. So that is um, that's not nice, ah. yeah, because um, the families here, people need to rest, need to sleep. Since March 2022, roads and parking lots here have been converted into more pedestrian-friendly spaces. One retailer says fewer cars has helped make business operations smoother. The upgrades also include wheelchair ramps and sheltered waiting points. One resident welcomed the changes, but said weather conditions could have been better considered. My neighbors all wondering, you know, they look at it, why is it they don't have a shelter for the senior to get on, I mean like, yeah, to board the vehicles and to alight, especially raining day. On Facebook, Senior Minister of State for Transport Amy Ko said she hopes these changes help to encourage more sustainable commutes. For instance, a covered linkway connecting Tiong Bahru to Havelock MRT Station will also be finished by the end of this year.